Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Blue Mountain Brewery. This is their Evil 8, which is a Belgian style double or duple. However you want to pronounce that. 50 IBUs listed for this. And it says enjoy by 07 2014. So July, which is next month. So we're in under the wire on this one. And Dave and Danny sent me this to try. Uh, so we're going to give it a try here and see what we get from this one, guys. 7.7 uh, uh, ABV, like I said, year-round availability, it says here on this beer. Uh, don't have a commercial description there. Let's see what we've got here. Belgian-style double, a truly special ale, evil eight, will blur the lines of what you think you know about American beer brewed in the Belgian Abbey style using caramelized biscuit malt. Goldings, hops, and a unique strain of brewer's yeast. 50 IBUs, 7.7 .7 alcohol by volume. The uh, food pairings for this, cheeses of buttery brie, gouda, Havarti, Swiss, and your more pungent cheeses, or your uh, gorgonzola Limburger. And uh, it says it goes well with your chocolate dishes. And the meat is beef, and, and that's all it has, just beef. Uh, I think that's going to go w with a lot more than that. So, uh, uh, Smoked meat, grilled meat, uh, salmon, your your slightly stronger dishes, guys. Uh, it says glassware is the goblet or the chalice. I'm going to use a double glass for this, guys, because it really enhances the aromas a little more than a chalice or a goblet does. And it says here it can be cellared for long periods under the proper conditions, but we're not going to sell this one. We're going to open it up and give it a taste. Let's see what we got here. Down the center pour on this. Gives us about, about a finger of head on there. Really good looking in the glass. Over to the light, it is a rich ruby red color. I can slightly see the bulb through it. It's not perfect, perfectly clear. It does probably have a slight chill haze on it, but uh, very good looking in the glass. A lot of little bubbles streaming up, reinforcing the head. Looks very tasty. Let's get a nose on it. I mean, I'm giving some candied caramel sugar in there. A hint of some dark fruit, maybe some cherries or something in there. Dark cherries. Very sweet on the nose. Not a big hop presence since they use the Goldings. Uh, that's more of an English style hop with the floral and herbal smell. Hmm, a nice sweet aroma. So let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Dave and Danny. Thank you, sirs. Oh wow, very easy drinking. No alcohol at all in the taste. Very well made beer. A nice biscuity malt in there. And just a slight hint of some, uh, some darker fruit. And, and cherries, is, the dark cherries is coming to, coming to mind and coming to taste on this. Very, very easy drinking. This almost, this almost drinks like a, uh, like a soda or, or, or a 
I, uh, I don't want to say a wine because a wine has a grapey taste to it. A lot of them do, but this is very sessionable for 7.7%. And here's on uh, <laughs> on rate beer it says it's 30 IBUs, but it says 50 on the bottle. So I believe the bottle. I believe I'll go with the bottle once it says there. 7.7%, not tasting any of that. Very well hidden. So if you picked up a six pack of this, I don't know if it comes in a four or a six pack, but you get your buzz on pretty quick and not realize it. So <clears throat> it's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees, guys. Let's uh let it warm up and uh, let her taste it, and we'll come back and do the final chug here shortly and uh, see where this one ends up. I like it so far. Very, very tasty beer. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left. Now that it's warmed up, it's got a slight tartness to it, too. Almost like a cherry juice or something. It is a, a, a tart cherry juice. So very easy drinking. I mean, the alcohol is superbly hidden. I don't find it outstanding, but it is very enjoyable, very tasty, very easy drinking. Let's do the final chug. A nice biscuity malt, like some candied sugar or some candied fruit. I'm getting a tartness cherry tartness or something. There may be a hint of some, uh, some prunes or, or, or figs or dates or something in there. Very, very tasty. Uh, a little different from your typical Belgian style. I'm not getting a lot of the pineapple, grapefruity, banana tastes uh, from the yeast that they, they use on this, but very tasty, guys. I'm going to give this a 7, which is a B plus. Uh, don't think it's quite to the A category, but a very decent... Uh, uh, Belgian double or Dubel, however you want to pronounce that, guys. Uh, enjoyed this one. Uh, it was a very tasty beer. Like I said, don't think it's quite to the A category. I, I would have liked to have had a little bit more of the uh, stronger Belgian quality to it for it to be called a Belgian style double, but it was pleasant. So, uh, B plus for me, a seven. Let's go over and we'll check with Beer Advocate first. And Beer Advocate says 85 in their good range. Uh, that's an appropriate number to me. If I was putting a number on it, uh, I would probably put it somewhere uh, between 87 and 89, guys. So, uh, kind of delightful. I enjoyed this one. Uh, not my typical style, as you guys know, but uh, it was a nice change-up. I enjoyed this. Uh, over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says 82 overall and 84 in style. I think those numbers are just a tad low. I think it's the a hair better than those numbers represent. So, but uh, like I said, it uh, it, it may be uh, it doesn't have enough Belgian qualities in there for it. So, I enjoyed it, guys. So, if you've had this one from Blue Mountain, uh, they're out of Acton, Virginia. Give me some comments back on this one, whether you liked it or didn't like it. And let's see what's in the fridge tomorrow. Maybe we'll get us an A beer. Got my fingers crossed. See you then.